Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. So I get a lot of questions about my EDC. Um, you know, it ain't changed a whole lot since last year. Last year I put up an EDC uh, video and it's not changed a whole, whole lot, but it has changed a little bit. So I thought I'd do an updated EDC video. I'm going to add in a couple of things I didn't add last year. Not that it'll make a big difference either way, but maybe there's some items that you would like to add to your EDC. So first of all, um, this is something I would normally wear um, if I was, you know, going out, it's a little bit warm today. The jacket's actually a little hot. I'm starting to sweat, but, um, this is something that I would actually normally wear out, you know, to town or to the mall or something like that. So you can see you, uh, you can't really tell that I have anything on me, anything, any different. Some of the stuff that has changed from this year to last year is more, um, stuff for comfort, I would say. Uh, my gun has changed a little bit for the winter time, which is weird because for the summertime you would think it would it would be this this firearm that I carry now. But strange enough, um, I put it on in the winter time mainly because blue jeans are a little more snug than my shorts. I have a little bit more room. Jeans nowadays kind of have a stretchiness to them and stuff, and they fit a little bit tighter. And uh, this firearm's a little more comfortable to carry uh, in the winter time just because of the jeans that. Are produced nowadays it's not like jeans they used to be we had all this room in them now pockets are smaller it's hard to carry more stuff and stuff like that so uh, without further ado let's get on with the video so the first thing I want to show you is actually on the table because I use it to uh, see the GoPro on is my cell phone now I do have the uh, iPhone XS Max it is the one of the biggest phones that you know uh, Apple puts out right now I just got this phone I'm really liking it um, but I always carry that in my left pocket. Um, that's just where I got used to carrying it. I try to make sure everything is carried in the same spot. So if an occasion arrives that I need one of these items quickly, I don't have to think which pocket that I put that in today. It is already um, muscle memory on where that's going to be. I've done this for years. Um, I do recommend that you all do this as well because you get that muscle memory and then instincts kick in and you don't have to think about it. Also in my left pocket, the only other thing I carry in my left pocket is my Malkoff uh, Bodyguard version two light. Um, I love this light. I carry this light every day outside of work. Um, when I'm at work, I carry the version one. It is a little bit shorter light. Uh, the pockets in my pants at work are a little bit, not, as, not quite as deep as these, and they kind of taper up, and it kind of pushes this light out of my pocket. So I carry the version one um, when I'm at work, but anytime I'm outside of work, I carry the version two. Again, love this light. Check out uh, Malkoff devices. I usually link them in uh, most of my videos in the description. So go check out Malkoff and get a very rugged, durable flashlight. I actually threw the version one uh, 20, 26 foot or so off the top of my house. It hit the ground, was still burning, no issues at all. These are great lights, very rugged, very tough. So now we're gonna move on to my left rear pocket. I always carry my wallet in my left rear pocket. There's nothing really special. It is a saddleback leather wallet. Uh, these wallets are made very durable. They have a 100-year um, warranty. I don't like those thin minimalist wallets. I don't know why, I've never gotten used to those. I know a lot of people like those nowadays. I've been approached by a couple of those companies um, to review their products. Um, I always turn those companies down simply because I don't like those wallets. Um, I like a traditional leather wallet and saddleback leather. I've had that for many years and I, I don't have any issues at all with that. It's been a great wallet so far. Um, next, uh, you know I always carry a tourniquet. Uh, when I carry my tourniquet and I'm wearing something like this, like a jacket, I'll always stick it in a jacket pocket, whether it be the right pocket or the left pocket. Um, I usually stick it in my left pocket. I actually had it in my right pocket because I just threw all this on to, to do the video because um, it's warm outside and I wasn't wearing a, uh, a jacket a minute ago and I threw the jacket on and picked this up and had my hands full which is why I threw it in my right pocket. But I do always carry this in my left hand pocket. Um, that being the, the theory behind that is, is I'm right hand dominant. If I'm in a situation where I need this tourniquet, I may have my firearm in my right hand and I can still get to my tourniquet with my firearm in my dominant hand. But there again, if my dominant or um, left hand is wounded, I can still reach my tourniquet with my right hand. I never put my tourniquet anywhere that I can't reach it with both hands. And uh, you never know when you might need it. 
or you never know when someone around you might need it. I've always said this, if you're ever in a situation where you need a tourniquet, um, unless it's like a car accident or another type of accident, if it's in an active shooter situation, um, the likelihood that you will need a tourniquet yourself or one of your friends or families or an innocent bystander will need a tourniquet is very highly likely because if an active shooter situation has happened, he has probably sur or surprised um, you and everyone else around you and just opened fire. So um, I always carry a tourniquet and it's not necessarily like I said for me, it's for anyone who might need it. So now we're going to move on to my right front pocket. Um, that is all I carry in my jacket. Um, this is a, I do like this jacket. I do want to tell y'all I do like this jacket. It is made by Drake Waterfowl. Um, it's lightweight. Uh, you know, if it was real cold outside, this might be a good inner liner to a larger jacket, but it doesn't get real cold here a lot. So I usually wear uh, something like this or my tag gear fleece jacket that I had in last year's video. I still wear that jacket some, but I've been wearing this uh, Drake Waterfowl um, small jacket and uh, I really like it. So let's move on to my right front pocket. So in my right front pocket, I always carry my car keys. Um, and I dropped something out of it when I pulled them out. Um, I always carry my car keys. I do have the AJT design uh, key fob for my Tundra and then just whatever other keys I have on my keychain. Also in my right front pocket, I always carry some chapstick in the winter. I don't carry this in the summer, I don't need it. But in the winter time, my lips uh, do get chapped some and that's what I dropped out of my pocket and I pulled out my key, uh, keys out a minute ago. But this is just uh, O'Keefe's lip balm. Uh, next, I always carry my Victorinox. I had this last year. It's my Wounded Warrior Edition Victorinox. I don't remember exactly which one this is, but I use this for cutting um, just normal, like opening boxes or something like that a lot of times. So I don't um, dull my primary knife. And next is the Leatherman S2 Juice. You can see that I have used this a lot. Um, this has been in my pocket for many, many years. This thing is uh, tried, true, and tested and stood up the test of time. And uh, I highly recommend these because uh, for a little multi-tool, this thing sure can do a lot. I've used it a lot and uh, it's very tough and rugged. So I can, I can tell you out of experience that um, the S2 Juice or Juice S2 is a very good multi-tool for a small multi-tool in your pocket. This is an item that has changed. Um, last year, I think I carried either the um, Olamic Tactical Custom Knife or I carried my um, Strider SMF. And this is one of the items that I went to because it's more comfortable. Um, this year, I'm carrying a Chris Reeves Sabenza it is the Insingo with the sheep's foot blade. I do have a video up on this, but the Chris Reeves Sabenza is a great knife. You can see how thin this knife is. Um, it is very, very thin. And uh, this is something that I do use because the comfort factor is, um, it's not as thick as like my Strider was. And uh, this thing just disappears in your pocket. This is the only knife that I use a lanyard on. I don't know why that is, but I do keep a lanyard on this knife and this thing gets to be a razor blade. Uh, this is the same knife that I'll have up in the video of the Wicked Edge. I'm not sure if that video will be up by the time this one is, but whenever the Wicked Edge video goes up, um, this is the knife I sharpened in that video. Now on to the good stuff. On my left hand side, I carry a spare magazine and I use Terran Tactical base plates with this magazine. Um, I always use Federal HST um, loads. This is like the 150 grain for the short barrel um, pistols and that's what I use in my defensive ammo. And on my right side I carry my Glock 43. Now this will be getting some upgrades. Upgrades ain't been done to it yet. Um, it does have some upgrades on it. I'm taking those off and replacing them because I don't like the ones that are on it. Uh, you can see I do have the plus one base pad on the 43. Uh, when I carry it so it's not so long and then in my backup I have a plus two so uh, I do carry the Glock 43 and this also has the um, uh, Federal HST ammo in it as well now for belts uh, the belt I use is an Aries gear Aegis belt I love this belt um, it's very easy to adjust you just slide these I also shot a video on this it's not up yet but I do have a video on different um, EDC belts, but this is my favorite EDC belt. So uh, that's the belt I normally wear. I do have, I think it's a DeSantis mag carrier that I carry my spare magazine in. Uh, 
I don't know, I, I like the leather mag holders uh, and I always carry them on the outside the waistband. I carry enough stuff inside the waistband. Uh, I don't want to carry my magazine in there. For the holster, a lot of times I still use a Stealth Gear holster, this or a Tuxton Tactical, um, but these things just melt away. They got a nice padding in the back. I, I've got so many videos I've shot here lately that um, I did a holster review and, a, and give lots of options and stuff like that. And this is one of the options I, that I highly recommend. It does have some nice padding on it and it just melts away um, into your body and you just don't even notice this little Glock 43 at all. As thin as this gun is when it goes in there, um, that's one reason I went to that as another comfort reason. The Glock 19 is a little thicker, um, actually quite a bit thicker. And like I said, with blue jeans, it just, um, it just gets tight. It doesn't give much or anything like that. I still carry my Glock 19, uh, you know, the dynamic uh, weapon solution. That's an awesome gun. I've started carrying it some, but, um, I do uh, carry the Glock 19 in the summer because my shorts are a little bit more comfortable to carry a thicker a thicker firearm, which like I said, that's weird that I would carry the thicker firearm in the summer and the thinner one in the winter, but it all comes down to comfort. And what I say is, if, um, if something's not comfortable, you're more likely to leave it at home. So I go for the comfort side of it. Unless I know I'm gonna be somewhere a little sketchy, then I go for mag count and I'll still carry the 19. But most of the time, I do carry a Glock 43. Now, a couple items I didn't add last time. Uh, I'll just tell you, I wear like buckled jeans. I think these are buckle brand. Um, they do stretch, they're very comfortable. They're very giving if you need to move or, or position or something like that. They do stretch with your body and they give you a lot of movement and um, control like that. Uh, shoes, I did not add shoes um, in my last video. I've had these oboes, I think that's how you pronounce them, for years. Uh, these things are awesome. You can see how much uh, treads on the bottom of these. They are just beasts. And I've wore these and wore these and wore these. And uh, they are some of the most comfortable shoes that I've ever had on my feet. So if you're looking more like a, uh, I guess a hiking style shoe or something like that, go check out Oboes. Uh, a lot of times if I'm just wearing jeans too, I'll either have those or I have the Altamas. Uh, these are the black multi-cam Altamas. Uh, I have a video shot on these. I, I don't know when they're all going to go up. I don't know when this one's going to go up. This video may be up now. It may not be, but also, I also have this video already shot of the review of these Altamas. Um, I have a regular multi-cam pair as well. Um, these shoes are very, very comfortable. They have a rubber insole that is very soft. And uh, it's one of these two pair of shoes that I normally wear if... Um, going out now even these i'll even wear these with shorts but a lot of times i don't wear the hiking hiking shoe with shorts um they look more like a boot and i usually wear those with pants so last but not least um i usually wear a hat you all always see me in a hat it is part of my edc so i'm putting it in there um this is a dynamic weapon solutions hat it is black multi-cam you'll see this a lot in videos and i do wear this out a lot and this is a nine line apparel hat um, it is also black multi-cam. You see it in a lot of videos as well. Um, that pretty much rounds off my EDC and you never hardly see me without a hat unless I'm in the bed. So, um, hope y'all like this video. Hope it gave you some ideas. Um, one of the things I will advise that a lot of people don't do, uh, make sure you get a tourniquet. This little rat's tourniquet, you can see how well it actually rolls up and balls up and there's a lot of tourniquets that you can choose from. But in today's society, you never know what you're gonna run into and you never know what kind of people you're gonna meet. So uh, if one thing you don't take away from this and you don't carry a tourniquet, um, these things aren't that expensive. They're worth the money. And uh, I think you should invest in one of these. So that's my EDC. A lot of people look at this and say, how in the world do you fit all that on your body? And I just showed you how I do that. Uh, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate you watching. See you next time.